hello guys welcome back to the channel uh, if you are watching for the first time this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture on today's episode i'll be discussing about the different type of cropping system we have we actually have different more than four different type of cropping system uh, in agriculture each of them specifically made for a specific uh, purpose and on today's video i'll be discussing uh, more than five more than four different type of cropping system we have i'll be talking about the how they are being done uh, the benefits and the disadvantages that are actually attached to each of them so if you are a crop farmer you are a crop farmer who wants to know more about crop production you want to improve your productivity and you want to do crop production in a more sustainable and environmental friendly and a profitable way you have to watch uh, this video to the end if you are watching this channel for the first time my name is Lawa uh, i'm an agri consultant i'm a farmer by training i'm a farmer by education uh, and this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture without wasting much of your time let's get to business so uh, the first cropping system i'll be talking about is the continuous monocropping system uh, as the name implies continuous monocropping monocropping means you growing the same type of crop on a piece of land over and over again year in year out over and over this year made for example you, you are planting maize continuously over and over year in year out on a piece of land this is a uh, particular uh, type of cropping system and one of the Benefits. One of the benefits attached to this cropping system is that it allow it gives room for large scale uh, production. If you have ten acre and you want to go into large scale maize production, you can actually use this type of uh, method of cropping system. So, but the benefit, the that's the benefit attached to it because you'll be able to use uh, mechanization and all the sort. It will give you room for mechanization and things like that but the disadvantage attached to it are so so much and one of the disadvantage is that you planting or growing uh, a particular crop over time on a particular uh, on a particular land will lead to will lead to a uh, pest and disease build up on that farm because you are planting maize so all the pests and all the diseases that attack maize will build up on that land over time and this will lead this will lead to the to the high use of pesticide and chemicals and which will actually uh, tell on your production cost because you'll be using more chemicals to prove to uh, to to fight these diseases and to fight uh, all this kind of uh, pests on your farm so that is the number one uh, disadvantage attached to this uh, kind of cropping system another disadvantage is that it's over time over time it will lead to nutrient depletion because uh, the crop you are planting have a particular nutrient requirement the same type of nutrient requirement so when you continue planting over time those crop will be uh, absorbing the same type of nutrient from the soil and over time it will lead to uh, nutrient uh, depletion so that is that about a uh, monocropping, uh, continuous monocropping system. Now, the number two uh, cropping system I'll be talking about is intercropping. So as the name implies, this involves you planting two different type of crop, two entirely different type of crop on a particular land. So particularly when you plant maize on your roll, the second row you plant another type of crop, cassava. So, and you interchange it like that. Maize, first row, cassava, second row. Maize, first row, cassava, second row. Or, let's say, for example, maize on the first row, soya bean on the second row. This is a very common uh, intercropping system. Maize and soya bean intercropping. The advantage of intercropping is that it brings about biodiversity because you are planting different different type of uh, crop they have different requirements and they have uh, different uh, nature so the essence of this is that when you plant uh, soya bean and maize together the soya bean will be fixing nitrogen in your soil 
why as maize as we all know it is a nitrogen loving crop so there is kind of a interchange uh, relationship between both of them so it builds a kind of biodiversity on your farm so another talking about the disadvantage of intercropping the major disadvantage of intercropping is that it does not give room for mechanization when you practice um, uh, intercropping it is very very hard for you to use a uh, mechanization because uh, you cannot use the combined harvester to harvest maize because you are also having you are also having sweeping on that farm so it makes it a bit it makes it difficult to use a uh, mechanization and even maintaining the field not even uh, only about harvesting the field maintaining the field it brings it, it brings about a kind of difficulty in in maintenance you cannot use a um, mechanize without an oil dissolved. So the number three cropping system uh, we're talking about is uh, uh, mixed cropping. As the names imply, is a kind of mixing two different types of uh, crop, planting them together on the same row, not on different row this time around. On the same row, you are planting cassava and you are also having melon. Or for example, you are planting maize, you are also having uh, cassava. On the same room, you plant them on the same room. Now, the advantage of this is that it gives uh, it built biodiversity, just like in intercropping, and also it's is a kind of uh, building uh, resilience against crop failure, also like intercropping, because when one of the crop fail. The farmer will have a kind of fallback on the second crop, so it's 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 kind of provide a kind of assurance insurance for farmer that okay if one of the crop is failing the other one will not be failing. So because you are having two different or three different type of crop on your farm, if one is affected by pests or diseases, or if there is an if there is a kind of pest infestation in your area. All the crop on your farmland, if you plant two or three crop on your farm, all of them will not be uh, affected at the same time. So it's a kind of building, a kind of shade, a kind of insurance for farmer against crop failure. So, and basically the disadvantage attached to mixed cropping is, is just that it is very, very difficult to manage, especially when you want to apply fertilizer, when you want to do uh, maintenance practice like we did it's very very difficult and it can only be practiced it's mostly practiced on a very very uh, small scale uh, system so those are the disadvantages associated with uh, mixed cropping the number four cropping system i'll be talking about is the relay mixed cropping system relay cropping system so as the name implies you are planting two different on three different two different type of crop on a particular land but you are introducing one first then the second one will follow at a later period now how this one is done is that for example you are planting you want to plant maize and you want to plant a uh, soya bean now the soya bean you will not plant maize you plant maize first so after a month or after three weeks or after a month three weeks to four weeks you now introduce your soya bean so by the by the end before the end of uh before the before the before the period of three months you should have harvested your your means leaving the soya bean on the farm so it's a kind of allowing you to grow two different type of crop on the farm at a particular time in a particular growing year so you'll be having the benefit of harvesting your maize first then at a later time you'll be harvesting your soya bean for example so this is a kind of how a relay cropping system is being arranged you plant two type of crop but you introduce one first and when you introduce one first you harvest that one first leaving the second one to harvest to be harvested at a very later uh, period so lastly but not the least, the cropping system I'll be discussing last is the crop rotation. Crop rotation is actually uh, considered as the best when we talk, uh, talk about sustainable agriculture and uh, organic agriculture. Uh, 
aquaculture system that is conscious of the environment and improves all improves productivity in all manners in all angles of view so crop rotation is so as the name implies crop rotation means uh, you growing different type of crop in a sequential order year in year out on a particular uh, pieces of land so for example you have a piece of land now the for example the first year you are planting maize the second year you are planting cassava the third year you will be planting legumes like maybe soya bean or uh, or, or uh, cowpea or, and in the third year in the fourth year you are planting maybe crops like uh, millet or tomato the essence of crop rotation is that you will be interchanging a uh, crop different type of crop year in year out on your on your farmland so and um, the advantages attached to crop rotation are so so uh, numerous and i'll be mentioning just a few out of them maybe i will make a specific video for crop rotation on its own to discuss the how it is being done and how uh, the benefits attached to it because the benefits are so so much enormous so one of the benefits attached to crop rotation is that it improves soil structure it improves soil structure it also help to build to break the the build up of pests and diseases because this year if you plant maize on your farm and the second year you are planting cassava we all know that cassava and maize they don't have the same kind of pest and disease so the second year you are planting cassava you will be spending less you will be spending less on pesticide and disease control because all these diseases that will affect uh, maize in the first year you planting cassava in the second year you've already broken that chain so those pests and the lava on the farm will just be there to rot to die because there will be no food for them to feed on and to continue uh, multipl multiplying. So it builds a uh, soil structure and it helps to build soil fertility because one of the principles of crop rotation is that it must include different type of uh, crop. It must include tuba, tuba crop, it must include a cereal crop, it must include a cover crop. So when you plant cover crop, cover crop will help you to fix nitrogen into your soil. And by this, you are improving the soil uh, fertility and you are improving the soil water holding capacity because uh, when you plant uh, when you plant a cover crop in the third or the fourth year, they will be covering, they, they provide the kind of cover for the for the soil and they fix nitrogen into your soil. So uh, with this, I've come to the end of uh, today's topic and I hope you got a uh, value one way or the other from this video. Uh, I will try as much as possible to make a, an entirely video on crop rotation to explain the principle behind it, how it has been done in the right way and the benefits attached to it in, my, in another video entirely on this channel. So if you actually got value from this video, kindly give it a like, share with your friends and for further questions and uh, discussion, discussion on this uh, topic, kindly drop it in the comment section, then we take the conversation from there. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention and see you on my next video. Shishi.